hey guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, today i am going to um, explain uh, ibm coding assessment i got uh, ibm coding assessment uh, in 2024 you can see here uh, i eight and uh, i written the exam also uh, and here you can see this is the hacker rank uh, test uh, link they provided and uh, yeah, it is re redirecting to the next page here you can see welcome to ibm 2023-2024 general software developer okay uh, test duration is 60 minutes and uh, number of questions is two actually i, I completed that one uh, but uh, today um, i am explaining here uh, some uh, try sample test okay how the sample test uh, test will be there okay. uh, here they provided some of the instructions okay and uh, yeah let's start with the uh, sample test you can see it is a fizzbuzz uh, test a type is coding okay then let's start you can see this is the problem statement uh, it is in a c language they given you can choose any language whatever you want uh, actually i like to code in java 17 so i chosen java 17 and here you can see it is a problem statement what is a problem statement first we can uh, see okay wait a minute i will expand that you can see uh, given a number n for each integer i in the range from 1 to n inclusive print a one value per line as follows uh, up to uh, we can take uh, n is equal to 15 okay uh, n is start from 1 to 15 here 1 to n is inclusive means uh, inclusive means it will include the 15 also okay so i am taking 1 to 15 points uh, let's go with one by one if i is a multiple of both 3 and 5 print fizzbuzz okay i will explain what it is uh, first go uh, we can go with one by one okay if, okay. if i is a multiple of both 3 and 5 okay then print uh, print Fizzbuzz. In mathematical term, in maths, in maths, like three is like given number. For example, I you can give as a two. Okay, two is okay. Uh, two is divisible by divisible by both 5 and okay it means remainder should be remainder should be 0 okay if for example if 2 is divisible by 5 and 3 then okay for example 2 is divisible by 3 and 2 is divisible by 5 then remainder should be 0 if j the remainder should be is equals to 0 then print fizz fizz was okay understood right if 2 this given number i i i am taking as a 2 if 2 is divisible by 3 and uh, 2 is divisible by 5 then remainder should it should be equals to zero then you can uh, print fizzbuzz okay this is the one thing okay this is the first point okay if uh, I, I think you understood right okay i took i is equal to here now uh, second point if i is multiple of three okay now they are taking only one here but not five right only if i is divisible by 3 okay, i i am taking as a 2 right is equal to 2 
of 2 divisible by 3 okay not uh, uh, not by 5 okay but not but not by 5 only multiple of 3 if it is equal to equal to 0 okay then print only fields okay you can print only fields okay this is the second point say so, second point this is the first point okay now let's go with the third point if i is multiple of 5 okay now i is equal to 2 i i taken right just here you can see if i is a multiple of 5 but not 3 here we are not taking the 3 divisible by 3 only we are taking with the multiple of 5 okay so i is i means 2 divided by 5 is equal to equal to 0 0 means it is a remainder okay so you should remember it is a remainder the remainder should be equal to 0 then you can print it is a buzz print buzz okay print as a buzz okay first one is if uh, given number is divisible by both uh, uh, 3 and 5 and remain, uh, remainder should be equal to 0 from both and uh, both then it should be a you, you can uh, uh, print this buzz if it is only divisible by 3 then print this if it is only divisible by uh, 5 remainder should be 0 then you can print only buzz okay let's go with the four point okay next is four point if i is not a multiple of pr pr5 okay for example i is equal to i am taking 2 if 2 divided by 3 and uh, 5 divided by uh, 2 divided by 5 is not equals to 0 okay it, it is not equals to 0 then print i value what is the i value here i value is 2 okay, you can print the same number okay this is what uh, simple exam uh, like simple explanation here okay first point both both should be uh, the uh, i is uh, divisible by both both the number like 3 and 5 then it should be print as a fizz bus okay then it should be a entire fizz bus and second one is second point is is only divisible by 3 and remainder equals to 0 this is a remainder remainder equals to 0 then print only fizz okay third point is 2 by like uh, here it is only divisible by 5 not divisible by 3 okay that remainder should be 0 then it will go uh, then it should be print buzz okay four point is if the given i number is not divisible by both uh, uh, like both the numbers both the three and five remainder not equals to zero then print the what is the i value you can show okay this is the logic here let's code Yeah, these are this is the problem statement. I explained all the points here. Uh, uh, like I am taking uh, Java 17 because uh, I know Java 17. Some I am good at in Java 17. You can see uh, just from 13 to 30 to 40 40 line they they provided uh, some code here. Uh, don't worry about this one just you can uh, just go uh, take this point one by one one by one one by one okay then code it here write a code write your code here okay uh, cl our class they given as a result complete the fizz function below the function accept the integer n as a parameter okay this is the parameter it should be in a integer okay fizz buzz it is a method it it do not return anything and it is a static okay it is static here you can see result dot fuzz they are they are just calling here okay from because it is a static right so static means it is a related to class so they, they are calling uh, result as result class result class dot then that method okay so we have to just write the code here Okay, let's start the coding here. Uh, 
now just we can go with the uh, first we can take the range okay range so i am using for here for loop for int i it will start from one okay it will start from one and i i less than r equal to n because why i am taking less than r equal to here you can see here upper limit of the value of test inclusive okay it should be inclusive inclusive means the n value we have to take uh, like for example n is 15 means so we need that 15 also okay that's why less than r equals to i am taking here we can no need to explicitly um, write here okay they already internally they provided n is equal to 15 so here i start from 1 and i ended with 15 it, it uh, that 15 also included here okay it is the condition will check to 15 also okay the, we take the for loop here for the range from 1 to inclusive let's start with 1 by 1 okay if if condition we can start if okay if i is multiple means multiple of means it is divisible by 3 is equals to equals to 0 remainder should be 0 and function i am using okay it is a logical and i am using because i need both true if both true okay i both true means this is the first condition i explained i even i is uh, divisible by 3 is equals to equals to 0 and i is divisible of 5 remainder should be 0 then both condition is true okay then only and function and function you know you know right if both uh, function like both a and b are this is the a this is the b both condition are true then it will give as a 1 okay what what is the output if uh, if even i is divisible by 3 and uh, remainder should be 0 and i is divisible by 5 remainder should be 0 then it will print what it will print a fizz buzz right so s y s out case system dot out just print what fizz buzz here okay this is the first condition we completed here and second let's use a else if because there will be a lot of condition we have to uh, there will be three condition we have to solve right so i am using else if okay else if <coughs> here what is the second one uh, condition is here what is the second condition if i is multiple of three only i have to take i is multiple of three equals to equals to zero then what should be there print s out s y s system dot out what fits we have to print only fits here okay let's go with the third one what is the third one if i is multiple of 5 okay now again take i else if here again i is multiple of 5 is equals to equals to 0 remainder should be 0 then you can print s y s System dot out dot print ln it is a buzz okay this is a buzz oh, we completed one two three here but not five means there is no need to take five only they are uh, they are given only it, uh, the number should be i should be uh, multiple and means it is divisible by three remainder should be zero here only it is divisible by five remainder should be zero and uh, let's go with the if i is not a multiple of three okay just i will go with the else part here if i is not a multiple of three or five okay just directly you can print else here else okay if these condition are not matching just print system dot out what is the print the i value here okay print i value here okay this is this is our uh, four condition we uh, are written here first condition is both uh, given number i is multiple of i and 5 okay uh, 3 and 5 then it is uh, fizz buzz 
and if it is only divisible by 3 remainder should be 0 then it should be print as fees it sh and uh, third uh, uh, third uh, condition is i is divisible by 5 it, and uh, remainder should be 0 then it should be print as a fees okay else if if it is these condition are not matching if i is not multiple of 3 or 5 okay for these three condition is not matching print the value of 5 okay for example here you can see sample uh, output one is not divisible by both both two right so it is returning only i value here okay then you can see second one second a two also is not divisible by two and five so what it is giving it is going the uh, the condition is going to here directly and printing the i value now take three okay three divisible by three right and uh, uh, three is not divisible by five so it is not going to here it will go to here else if here three divisible by three and remainder is zero then system dot out dot print l if is okay like that you see fizz buzz means 15 15 is divisible by 3 15 is divisible by 5 so it is printing fizz buzz here for 15 okay let's run our code you see it is uh, printing output as uh, same as they provided sample output okay then run the all the test cases yeah successfully it is uh, uh, our seven test cases are run okay submit okay, submit the test yes it close this test okay if you have any query regarding this one just Comment in comment section. Okay. Thank you. Please subscribe.